Hey students, welcome back to Art with Miss Looney. Today we are going to start adding color to our Tyree Guyton's Heidelberg Project houses. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the color wheel and finding analogous colors that you would like to use on your house. We talked earlier about analogous colors and we learned that analogous colors are three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So what you will be doing today is you are going to pick your very own three analogous colors to use on this project. We are choosing analogous colors so we have a nice group of colors to put on our house, okay? My analogous colors that I am selecting for my house are these three right here. I have red, red violet, and violet. So what you're going to do is with your bin of colored pencils, you are going to find the closest shades to those colors. So when I was looking, I found red, then I have my red violet here and my violet here. What you can do is just pull out the color pencils and see which ones match that color the closest on your color wheel. So these are the three that I'm going to do. After I pick my three analogous colors, I'm gonna put my color wheel to the side. I'm going to look at my art and you are just gonna find some areas to apply the color. We wanna make sure that we have a nice balance of color on our projects. So I'm just gonna pick some areas and kind of move around. So you're not gonna be filling in your whole house, you're just gonna pick some areas of your house to fill in, okay? They can be larger areas, they can be smaller detailed areas, but you're going to look at your house and kind of see where a nice pop of color would be. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this, um, my garage. I'm gonna start filling in the background of my garage with that red. I don't want to color on top of my pattern. I just want to get that empty space behind it. I'm taking my time and filling in really nicely. I'm gonna turn my house so I can get in those really small areas around. I have control of my pencil. I'm making really small strokes and moving the whole time paying attention to where my pattern is so I don't color on top of it. We kind of want to fill in those larger areas because some of us have really, really small patterns and that would also take a really, really long time to fill out. I'm applying even pressure with my color pencil so I have a nice red color all over my house. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm not pressing too lightly going back and getting those areas that I might have missed too. If you get some in your pattern, it's okay. Just try really hard to pay attention to where you're coloring. You know what? Not the end of the world. Okay, now I just have this last little middle part. All right, now I'm done with my red. I can also take my red and put it somewhere else on this side of my house to have a more balanced feeling. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put my red to the side. I'm gonna utilize my red violet and my violet somewhere on my house. Actually, I'm gonna do my violet in these circle spaces. Want to make sure you're only filling in that white space and not going over the sharpie. Cool. All right, let me use my red violet somewhere. Put it in some of these, maybe like every other one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. There are some more areas that I can fill in with color. We still wanna have some white space going on. I'll probably put some color in one of those, try and figure out a way to maybe get some color in this one and apply some color in here, and maybe on my steps. So think about where you're going to be adding your analogous colors on your project and 
on the back of your project, it might be a good idea to write down the name of the color pencils so you know which colors you used for next class. So I have magenta, raspberry, and red. All right, thanks guys.